Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our dot hack infection playthrough. Last time we started the game, and uh, I don't know, it felt a little slow, but hey, slow ain't bad. Just needs to just need to get used to the flow of the game. And see how it goes. But I do enjoy a lot of it so far. Like the mail, the news, and then the board that you can read. Doesn't seem like there's anything new on the board, so we're just going to log on in. And see what we must do. As I, like, thought upon what it was that was happening, like, uh, last time, I figured I should use my data drain more. Although I wonder what that means, drain data and decrease level. I feel like the game could, like, dis what's the word, uh, explain that just a little bit. I wonder what staccato is. Wait a minute. So this is only like one less. What's staccato? Slash at high speed like a dance versus saber dance. Continuously slash at high speed. It's level one PS. It is level one PS none. Whereas this one is the same. Hmm. Interesting. But I also lose my added effect of death, even though I don't think it's ever really activated. It's hard to tell. Hmm. But I am interested. Let's trade. We can just look and see. A strange blade. <laughs> Level 22. Inferno Strike, Temporary Decree, Strange Blade, Weapon for Blade Master. <laughs> Skills Revolver. Spin like a top and slash at high speed. Interesting. I think I might just talk to random people more. Just to see. Fuse Blades. For Twin Blade. Has Thunder Dance. Hmm. <laughs> I can give him lots of burning oil. And maybe he'll like me. But I am interested. Steel cap. Good for magic, but nothing else. But I will, I just want to see what happens. I wonder. <laughs> weird. The menu is a little weird on like, hey, I want to back, or like, not back out, but like, do something else. Ah. Ah, so if I'm on a thing, I can press the X and make it go away. Give me those fuse blades. Just because I can. Sure. And then I'll keep these... Like, I, I, what I'll probably end up doing is keep, uh, like, an extra of each kind of weapon that I come across. Just in case. Because, uh, each thing seems to have, like, different skills and stuff. So, it's not bad to try and keep things. 
for myself. Trade with everyone. They might have things. Like an executioner. Do you have any new weapons since I, like, leveled up and stuff? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Although I am very poor. <laughs> the moon! Sleep, unable to move. So yeah, like, training with random people might not be a bad idea to do. Just to be like, hey, what weird items do you guys have? More fuse blades. Fire dance hat, level 22. Tolerance book. I wonder... Because that seems like a decent thing. Man, this guy does not like safety, safety shoes. Well, apparently to get that thing, I need a lot. What about that uh, golden axe? Man, you don't even like the golden axe! How many fortune wires takes to get a tolerance? I guess this is like a very wanted thing. So yeah, definitely can't get that without lots of items. Spark Blades has Flame Dance. Very interesting, though. Apparently everybody has these things. I probably can't wear that because I'm not... Level 22 body armor. And, like, hardly gives any stats, it feels like. Or at least it looks like. The music is nice in this town. But enough fooling around. I'll quickly say for the shenanigans I went through. When in, when in RPG, always save in case uh, things annihilate you. Oh yeah, Mistral, I forgot. Ah, oh, you're a wave master. And I think we can have, like, a team of three. Oh, wait, no. Add. Yeah, we can have a team of three. That's what I figured from the screen. Now, let me look at the equipment that I have in general. Goblin Cap gives... Curse... Can't be worn by a wave master. Well, this is leather coat. Let's see. Eh. Status. We've got a steel cap, a noble cloak, which raises a lot of things and gives stuff and sandals. So maybe we should give you one of those lucky things. Let's see. Safety shoes. Gives me nothing. Let's see. Chaos Gate. Word list. Area where you are asked to bear witness to Pyros when he defeats the monster. Area known as the protected area, according to the post board. And if I want, I could probably go to any of these other places to try and level up Mistral a bit. 
How did you even get to the bottom of that one place that recommended for, like, level 5, I think? Beyond, really. Well, I guess... Hmm. I get... Uh, 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 uh. Recommended level 4. I think Mistral can survive. Pyros is probably gonna annihilate us. I can only imagine. Indiscreet gluttonous pilgrimage. Also feels... Disturbing. But hey, we have a full party. Is Pyros in the dungeon? Well, that saves us some time, I guess. Ah, this is so exciting. What do you have on you? Speed charm. Level 9? Diddly D? Has a uh, tiger claws? Diddly D and critical hit? Added effect during battle, possible chance of inflicting double damage? You're probably not going to want to part with this, are you? Give me. I probably should have actually looked at its stats, but I'm just like... Thing? Thing but good? Yes! Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a... What's the word? A lake that I can throw things in. Before we enter there... We're gonna wander around and get these, like... Bonuses. Rig Siam! Which lasts for a long time, if the one... Or at least, uh, from the icon, I assume it's similar to the one that we got in the dungeon. So it should last a long time. Epreo! I'm just on the lookout for the flames, or... Circles. Ah, neat statues. Oh, well, you died fast. There's one thing I do want to do. Ah, uh, okay, these things are dying really quick. But one thing I decide to do is I'm going to use my data drain more. No idea what it means by reduces level. Maybe I should have checked my status before I did that. Look at my level and stuff. Mode done. Those goblins are mean little monsters. Then again with our healing thing, I don't think it really did much, the poison. A curing sword. Probably uh, gives reap. <laughs> I guess she already had an earth sword for calamity. But it doesn't look like I'll be able to data drain the little goblin guys unless I. Hmm. That might be interesting. Why not? I wonder if I could change mid fight. Oop. If this has my. Like, uh, some goblins, I'll hunt them down. As a goblin. I'll put on... My steel blades and I'll... Try and smack them. Never mind. Died against my will, but I will data drain you. See what happens. Hello, hello! We are playing more Dot Hack Infection!
I turned it into a puffer fish. I'll go ahead and put my big thing back on. Yeah, get back here. Okay, now that we're in the <laughs> close, I shall tiger. Flame dance takes a lot. I miss a lot. I put on my ability to just smack you. And you know what? I think I'm out healing the poison, so I don't think I'm gonna antidote myself just yet. <laughs> Sounds like a game. Which is hilarious, because you play a game within a game, technically. You can even log out of the game and check your email in the news, which is hilarious. So far, it's a pretty interesting... kind of like... Recreation of an MMO, but single player. <laughs> and apparently this is the grandfather of the if you die in the game, you die in real life genre. Which is also amusing. Man, you guys are weak now. And yet you still don't die fast enough for me to not have to use antidotes. Just wandering around in case there's... You know what? Let me see. Because if I remember correctly, fairy orbs aren't even that expensive. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do everything on the overworld map and then head in. Actually, you know what? I wanna... I wanna know. What can you do? You can do a tornado, a water tornado, or ice. You can heal as well. Very nice. Very nice to have a healer on the team. Huh, some amateur blades. <laughs> so if I wanted to try... ...and... ...not one-shot the goblins... I can always do that. Getting confused in my brain. Everyone's like, come on, heal me! I guess we ran out of our auto-heal anyway. Good to know that they're not infinite. Go ahead and heal myself. Luckily, everybody in my party has heals. The death, the wicked itch returns. The name of the spells just cracked me up. Well, since we already got blasted, I'll put on amateur blade and see if I can not one shot you. Nope, even my we weakest blades still annihilate you. Did they drop a chest? They did not drop a chest. I'll just tank all of your poisonings, you fiends. I have to get my antidotes to last long. More amateur blades. Ah, haven't run into one of you for a bit. 
I wonder when we're gonna be able to feed those to a Grunty one of these days. <laughs> Mold death. I guess I'll give in it. Didn't mean to do it to me, I meant to give it to you, but I was too quick on the draw. We'll just do a few more and then we'll run into the dungeon. I don't think it got its spell off. Nope, it got its spell off on me, of course. Damn you! Goblin. Those guys just go straight. Straight for poisoning. The most fiendish monsters to ever exist. The I'm just going to poison you to death monsters. Kill me. I sure feel like the fool. Oh, hey, we got two for some reason. Fortune wire. And a guard cap. Let me check and see. Guard cap is just an upgrade from my nomad's cap. And like all of these have healing on them, which is very nice. her so that she can tank a little bit. We'll do these two final ones up here and then we'll head into the dungeon after the random guy. Well, I half expect to be like, surprise, PvP time and try to annihilate us. Two chests. Huzzah. But now, I need to go here. I have to play the menu game. Another curing sword. Sounds like a thing where you stab someone and it heals them somehow. I wonder if the poison goes away on its own eventually. Considering that, like, all the other, like, buffs. Oh, all field portals open. Forgot that it did that. It's like, hey, <laughs> don't worry about looking for any more. Just move along there. Which is very nice of you, game. Now into the dungeon we go. With a bit more experience in our bellies. Where are they meeting? I guess I'll just go down. Well, find them eventually, or they'll jump out and stab us. Interesting design to this place. At least it's not another Jabu Jabu's belly. I'll go ahead and day to drain this sort of chaos because I don't think I've done you. I might as well at least try to do one of each enemy, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes I get a virus core. Sometimes I just get a random item. I got a fire spear that time. Raining rocks. But I wonder what a raining rocks is.
Ah, it's a, well, obviously, it's a rock item. Fool what I am. The main problem is, like, I, I wish I could use my allies as pack mules, but then they'd want to keep the item and be like, no, you have to trade it back. Capitalism. Ah, another antidote. Huzzah. So I definitely need to use my... Like, the item guy. Hmm. Like, I since we're not that far into the dungeon, we can probably head back to town, because I think these areas... Like, at least it'll be a little bit of an, a diddly-dee, so... We'll head back to town. And I'll put stuff away. And then we'll head back here. Because I'm like 90% certain that... If we go back, it'll basically be the same. I'll keep the assassin blade so I can maybe throw it into a place, maybe. One of those lakes of changing things. seem pretty good. Make room of rare spells that I haven't been using. I should probably use these more, but meh. Let me see. I lose Jukram, which is just nice options to have. So I guess we'll actually keep the fuse blades to maybe throw things around. Then the amateur blades if I want to try and data drain, because I feel like data draining is important. Or maybe I'm a fool. Oh, I think I canceled it. Yes, overwrite. I always do that. Fool what I am. And now we just head on back to the indiscreet gluttonous pilgrimage. Oh, the portals do come back, but we won't care about them too much. They don't drop anything. They do not. And we'll just head into the dungeon. No reason to go scouring for the things. I probably should have bought more antidotes while I was in there. Oh well. skills is quite satisfying. 
<laughs> a face guard. And a noble cloak. Apparently very good for magic. In fact, it only lowers my defense and evade by one for physical. I do lose fire converge, but then I get water. Hmm. Ah, you already have a noble cloak. Good to know. The one downside of this game I feel so far is managing your allies' inventory is a little bothersome. Cool item, give it to me. But it's my item. Huh. I wonder if these, like, places are preset. Never mind, because <laughs> we did not get that many antidotes last time. The game was like, oh, you're poisoned here. <laughs> Have all of them. and she seems to recover her SP very, very quickly. I am a speedy boy. Oh, hey, a golden diddly dee. Come to me, golden egg. More raging earth. And the devil. This gives me lots of destructibles to hopefully give me lots of items, like antidotes. I wonder why restorative doesn't work like an antidote. Not that restoring, if it can't do that. Well water? What is a well water? Is it water that is well? Temporarily increase targets earth. Because hmm. I guess it's water from the earth. Can we destroy you? No. Just wanted to make sure those things weren't like the skeletons from previous ones, previous dungeons that we could destroy and potentially get even more items. Did that guy motherfucker... <laughs> he didn't even have a chance to cast his spell and he still poisoned me! Hey, mister, what else do you have? Nope, you just have Restore Health. Would be nice if you had a Cure spell. That would be invaluable to me. That is not a voice I'd expect out of you. And another item. Or another item, I say. Another antidote. If I can just stay net positive on antidotes, I'll be fine. Those magical goblins are gonna run me out of antidote and home. Hello, hello! I am currently being bombarded by poison from the wicked magical goblins as I'm trying to delve into these dungeons of Dot Hack. Yeah, I kind of like the wall art here. 
It feels like, sure, generically dungeony, but nice. I'll go ahead and have Mistral heal you, just so that we have a little bit more wiggle room. But currently what we are doing, besides being poisoned to hell, is... Oh, we are trying to find this guy. Because he wanted us... To have to witness him defeat a a monster, and he seemed rather weird about it. Whatever you say, weirdo. We're just gathering up these food items that apparently we feed to things called grunties that aren't available until later into the game. Oh, hey, skeleton! Didn't even have anything on him. What a bum! Coming a skeleton, you don't even have anything to drop. Well, that's just kind of disturbing. A skeleton is watching us. I think I managed to killed them before they actually got any spells off that time. More raining rocks. <laughs> More raining rocks. I guess because I rained on their parade so they couldn't actually poison me. They're like, you are, you a mean man. You won't let us poison you. We're just silly little goblins. Oh, damn it, I could have... Okay, plan. Use Mistral's magic to attack the goblins, and then I data drain them. New plan, I thought I saw. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing a destructible behind us, because enemies spawn, I have to charge in. Headhunter? Yes! Give me your data! Still no idea exactly what this does, but those virus cores go into the key items thing, so... Unless this doesn't give me a virus core, of which waste. I got a virus core! So important. What the fuck, did you become a Godomon? Well, might as well. This is an unprotected headhunter, so why not virus him? I am Leet Haxors. I steal your shit. Oh, data drains out. Control, something went down. Alright, we have to uh, kill things normally for a while. Luckily... These are all things that we've done normally. Gotta manage my stuff. I wonder where it says. Maybe on my status? Like, I wish, like, there, like uh, the systems were a bit more intuitive, because I'd like to know, like, my level of infection. Because it says there, like, it looks like it's normal. And now it's just all distracting me. Killing me. We did not mean to open a trap chest. But I got too absorbed in my... Where are the... Hidden evils? Another face guard. Where is that as, like, an item?
Ah, uh, it's, uh... Something that can only be worn, I guess, for... You. Uh, I have multiple face guards, so I might as well... Give one to you. Ah, and you equipped it too, because I guess you think it's good. Well, hello, Golden Egg. You're mine now. Get in my belly, Golden Egg! Oh, but now she doesn't have her heels. Oh, well. We have Mistral now. And Mistral can be our healer. She is meant to be a tank anyway. But the idea of just everybody spamming heals amuses me. And now is out of reach. I don't even know how deep this dungeon goes. Oh, you look like a little motherfucker. Hmm, Hell Doberman. Well, I think my thing went down anyway, so data drain. You're new. Because I think what this is, is if I do it on a new enemy, the bracelet is shining. Enhanced by Book of 1000? Ryu Book 1 is generated by the bracelet. Ryu Book 1 is added to key items list. I do not know what any of that was. Alright, Mistral, I say... Heal her, she is dying. Never mind, <laughs> she was doing the killing. Here, doggo. Okay, key items. Okay, we have virus cores used to hack gates. No idea what that is. Chronicles, the total number of areas and total playtime. Can only use this item in towns. What about this? You cannot use this item. Interesting. So I think it is a good thing to blast enemies with the data drain at least once overall. Well, I have no use for plate mail. So, here, have plate armor. Mistro, heal me. And we're just power leveling Mistral, I think. Well, something spawned. <gasps> Jesus! -o! No die. And of course you died right as I was healing you. So I can order you to if you have it. That's the second time that one of us has died. For a moment there, it looked like Black Rose's SP was going down instead of up. I look away for one second and Black Rose is all the way down to 21 HP. Ah, uh, we're not... Hmm. Well, I guess we can go ahead and take it. 
Cougar Bandana. Yellow Candy. Rainbow Card. Things for trading and selling. So I should probably talk around to everybody in town, see if they have any items I want, and how well they want the Rainbow Card and stuff. I guess I'm going to wait here just a moment. And let Black Rose rejuvenate her SP so we can presumably go in and watch Prios get his ass beat and we have to kill the monster, maybe? And then we're all just going to spam our attacks on him and uh, I might data drain it. I definitely want to data drain that thing. Why do you call me that anyway? You, you, that was an attack that missed. You're not gonna beat me. It has yet to hit you, I don't think, but it is healing. I am quite a new man today. Okay, now it's hitting you. I think he's insane. I mean, this is a normal part of the game. It shouldn't kill him in real life. Hmm, stone. I forget, because... Can data drink. Yes! You are mine! I want your delicious viral core! Give it to me! Hope he doesn't accuse me of being a hacker. Oh, Thunder Axe. Darn. I got I wanted a viral core, not a Thunder Axe. And that le lessened the experience from that. Why does he Maybe. laugh crazily? I have a feeling we will yet meet again. Until that day, farewell. May the stars shine until the end of your journey. And now I can summon him. Interesting. So side quests get you temp like party members. What was that? Oh well, I got his member address, so maybe I'll invite him. And then we get sent back to the capital. Good thing we took that treasure. <laughs> but it was a new enemy. How could I not try to drain it? Still disappointing that... I didn't get the maximum XP from killing it. But then again, XP doesn't seem like to be the, the most major thing. Oh, I have new email. Thank you for telling me, game. Shadow blades. <laughs> Strange blade. Of course I should. Well, first things first, I should probably, because the main thing I should do first is usually get the important things, so I definitely should. Let's see. While these are good for trading, I also want to stock up on important things. So, like, more antidotes, definitely. More fortune wire, because I go through this a lot. A few restoratives wouldn't hurt. I 
guess I'll log out and check my email and the board and stuff since that updated. Doesn't look like there's anything new on the board. Sadness. From Anonymous Warning. You have been inquiring about the server problems. <laughs> Cease now. Do not ignore this warning if you wish to continue playing the game. I... Do you mean about the coma? Because I don't think I inquired about anything else anywhere else. Congratulations! You are the lucky winner of our one-year anniversary power-up campaign. As a prize, you will receive a special level-up item created for this occasion. Please receive your item at the sh at a shop in Root Town. Like, one? Let's go to a shop in town. Interesting. I wonder what level Pyros is. So, like, any shop? And again, I guess this is the generic shop. Congratulations! You're the big winner of our contest. Please take your prize. It's a pipe bomb. Book of Law added to key items. The Book of Law is a rare item that upgrades your character. Select the item from the item window, and the character's level data will be updated. That seems kind of vague. I'm gonna save before I do that. Save also because I want I need to use the other book thing that was in my inventory after I data hacked a Cerberus dog. <laughs> Insulation error. Character data overwrite is forbidden. All right, what about Rio Book? <laughs> oh, so <laughs> I have to go through all that just to be like, oh, you've visited seven places and you've played for four hours. That is hilarious. But I wonder what that Book of Law is about. It's a key item. Installation error. Character data overwrite is forbidden. And I've got new email. I'm gonna quickly check the sneaky alleyway. See if there's anything special down here. Because inevitably, one of these days, there's gonna be like, I don't know, a one in a million NPC spawn. And I'll have nothing to give them for trade. We got a new email. Might as well jump out. Ultimate. Imagine if that was like how Windows opened up all your icons flying into place. Oh, hey, Mia! Data Drain is not the only power on your bracelet. Do you want to know more? You do, don't you? Boundless corrupted fort walls. I'll be waiting at this er area, so come alone. Well, sure thing. Please don't kill me. Then again, who better to die to, if not the purple cat? And of course, we shall save, just in case. Hmm. I guess we'll do this, and then we'll go to Closed Oblivious Twin Hills. I should be able to handle level 7. I think I'm level 8. Well, this is an ominous place. Hi. I've been waiting for you. Actually, I'm also interested in your bracelet. Thanks for coming. <laughs> the bracelet that I cannot see but know is there. I'm at the lowest level of the dungeon. You can make it here. Can't you? But now are you talking to me? 
How do you know about data drain? That's a little bit of a weird read. Well, it's hard to say. I think this is another you're not supposed to be here place. Once again, no. Like, thing to throw. I forgot to manage my inventory, too. I should be fine. Maybe use some of those spells I hardly ever do. Well, might as well. Data drain. Hobgoblin. Will you give me a core or just an item? Miner's gloves. Don't you run away from me. And I'll data drain you too. Probably bad idea to data drain so many enemies back to back, but one of them might have a data core. Not just a wind axe. Luckily, there's no enemies to smack me. Okay, we go back to normal. So I guess no real reason to data drain those two enemies again. They didn't give me anything. Die, monster. What the hell? Well, these things are dangerous. Alright, I don't think I like these enemies. They're just being annoying. I think I know their gimmick. Like, oh, you need to kill them at the same time, but Jesus. That's just annoying. Or maybe I need to use, like, a specific spell. Because you're... I could, like, have a quick thing. So I think with them, I either need to kill them multiple times or kill them when the other one isn't doing anything. So I don't know. <laughs> I data broke the first one, so I don't know. They're normal Thalides. I don't know what happens. Hmm. Let me check my inventory. I should probably head back and manage my inventory. Sell some things, put other things away. I guess maybe talk to those two, or like those three guys that are what element parameter up? Oh yeah, cougar bandana. Man, 
You just like nothing, don't you? Gotta free up space. Don't think I'm gonna be using those. Cougar bandana. Gives me... Ooh, and any nearby allies, I might swap them out. I think that should be enough for me to do good things with. Well, I guess first things first, check those guys in the back. Although I doubt that... Yeah, I don't, anything that I'd actually want from them, I wouldn't be able to get. I probably need to stock up on, like, gold and silver... Bobba buzz axes from the lakes to be able to actually do proper high-level trading. Get out of here. So yeah, it does seem like they revive each other in combat. Just need to be careful because definitely want to have SP to smack enemies around. I guess quickly I'll check. Because that takes that away. Hmm. I might check it out. Because how much more is La Ref? It's 20. That is not worth it. Maybe I'll, if I can, give it to... Let's see. Give that to Mistral when we can, then, because that would be very handy to have. But me? No, especially not when I'm going in alone. Although I should also use, like, the scrolls. Thank you for playing the world. Another administ- well, administrator. Probably an NPC placed this here. This area is currently unstable and not functioning properly due to corrupted data configurations. Please return to the field immediately and gate out to the town. I can't go back. Let's venture further into the dungeon. Let's just completely ignore the administrator. Let's, once again, I'm going to try it at least once on each enemy I run into for the first time. See if I get a data core out of them. Nah, just a green sword. And a 
course, it gave me the worst thing. I'm going to die from that. Mean game. I only used it once. I use it fucking once and it's just like, fuck you, player. Come on, let, let me get back into the game. You asshole. Let me just double check. Okay, this is the latest. Because I can understand spamming it, but I went in there, killed a bunch of normal enemies, and was only able, like, only did it, like, once. I feel like that's unfair. Doing it twice in a row when I first went in there before heading back to town, that's understandable. Just giving me no warning, jerk game. <laughs> hey there, Neon. Hello, hello! I'm trying to do another venture alone to find Mia at the bottom of a dungeon. And the game is mean and not following its own rules, apparently. Because I s could have swore... ...that... ...like previously... ...like... ...like data draining... ...because like it's understandable if you spam data drain. But it's kind of mean that the first time I used Data Drain in the dungeon, or even in that, like, load of the uh, area, the game is like, ah, you bad. Oh, hey. So it seems to be like a random thing then. Because I got a, a core that time. Then I do not understand it. Sometimes you get a core, or sometimes you don't. <laughs> but note to self, unless I have allies, only do it. <gasps> only ever do it. When I, <laughs> if they're like, either if they're the last one standing. Or if I have allies. Else the game is mean. So yeah, definitely to keep an eye on the statues, then. They do resurrections. <laughs> Just makes it extra mean when there's two statues that spawn. But man, that's just such a mean downside of, like, you are now fully paralyzed. Let's see. Because I believe it's stone. So, do I have anything else? Alright, that takes a long time to do, and apparently it didn't seem like it even worked. Rude game. Not skills, because that would take too long. Health drink. We definitely need to go in. See if I can survive. By only data hacking. Data draining. When there are no other enemies around. Because RNG possibility that it just says, Screw you, play or die. Nice. 
Hmm. We already data drained you. Well, fine. You want me to data drain you. I was gonna play nice. Then I just miss you five million times in a row? Fine. Die. Hopefully uh, you don't paralyze me again. Thus leading to your hacked form to smack me. Up to screen, sword. You jerk. Gave me a chest with the devil inside. I'm gonna go ahead and. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to do skills. I was just like, <laughs> it took me a moment to be like, what is this menu? Where did it come from? Someday you will be fed to a grunty, but today is not that day. I haven't even seen a grunty yet, nor know what it is. Well, that increases something. Don't know what it is. Another the devil. I'll quickly head this way in case. Oh, hey, another box. With an antidote inside. Exactly why I wanted to come this way. One of them was going to be a dead end, and I needed to find out which one. Don't you dare call me the fool game, just because I'm going into a dungeon alone at the behest of a purple cat. Who doesn't wear any pants. Tiger Claws again! Get out of here. And I shall antidote myself immediately. Get off to the chest. More raining rocks. And I need to remember the... like, weakness things again. Because I think it's like... Fire and water cancel each other out, so if you use fire or water on the, like... Instead of water only affecting fire, fire also affects water. It's like, depends on what you're attacking with, which is an interesting system. Just not what I'm used to. Then, like, wood affects earth, and earth affects wood. Ah, Silver Bracer. Gives, gets rid of Jukrom, but gives me a different thing, and raises my stats, I'll take. So long as I get, like, a replacement skill, I'm not that upset. But losing out on a skill entirely... Always mean. Oh, I thought it was going to be an enemy. For a moment I thought opening that chest led enemies to attack me, but nope. That was, oh, you opened up all the boxes in here. Now you're free. I'm getting all the sports drinks. And all the well waters. And all the raging earths. I forget what thunder affects. Wind, maybe? Is there gonna be a scary boss at the end? I'm not sure if I should data drain bosses or not. Because I didn't get anything really good from that one boss. Well, boss, I say in quotations, but the final enemy for the Puro side mission. So I'm wondering if it's worth it at all. Because it seems to be like an RNG thing.
Ah, that actually killed you. If you survived, I was gonna data drain you just because I could. Let's go smack at the skeleton. One second. Remember, while you're delving into a dungeon, to stay hydrated. Don't want any of the bees to steal your moisture. So, what do you think? Do you think the area is really corrupted? I don't know. I haven't read, run into anything too crazy. The truth is, for something to be born, something must break. That's a weird philosophy. The same applies to humans. Do you understand what I mean? I don't think so. Like muscles, you mean? You have to tear muscles. Well, that's ever so slightly disturbing. I don't think that'll do much to you. But I think I have... Uh... Hmm. So it doesn't look like I have any, th any like, uh wood attacks for you. Jesus, I did a lot of damage. I'm not gonna risk getting hit again. Ah, but it looked like I couldn't even data drain you anyway. Fire and thunder. You know what? I'll data drain you while I can, too. Ah, just another Thunder Axe. The also downside is that doing that gets rid of any experience I would get from the encounter. But I always want to know. What if they have something good? And of course, we wait to increase our skill points so that we can actually do things when we go to fight. Because we need to spam skills like crazy in here. Oh, hey, a skeleton. Didn't get anything, but we did get to destroy it, and that is its own reward. The music is pretty good. <laughs> Thinking of things to talk about as I wait for my skill points to regenerate. But it does feel kind of like generic RPG. But we don't want to do that again. Want a tiger claws. Get smacked, big guy. Give me a 60 experience. All right, another silver bracer. What do you give me? Silver gloves. What is the difference? They increase my defense and evade for physical, but they get rid 
of a spell entirely. If I had any food that just jumped out at me and said its name, I would scream. Come to think of it, that's just basically grim, dark, edgy Pokemon fanfiction. Although it does remind me of a fanfic that I... <laughs> oh, that's in work in progress. I need to write more. Ah, looks like I leveled up, I think. What level am I? I'm level 9 now. Huzzah. Gotta wait for my skill points to regenerate. <sighs> oh, hey. <laughs> Silver hands! So not even a thing. I got the silver hands. Guess they're not a thing that I can equip. They're for... <laughs> only for, uh... Black Rose's class, maybe. I don't know what the class's names are. Twin Blades is obvious. It took me meeting Mistral to understand what a Wave Master was. I keep forgetting what Black Rose's... Classes. No idea what Piros's class is. It's not like I got to choose my class and character. The game gave it to me. Thank God that I waited a moment because I was about to click the basic attack, which is open thing. Which personally I think is a bit of entrapment. I've already accidentally opened trap chests twice because they came out of a spawn portal. Again, this is just so freaky deaky. Just a giant skeleton in a cage. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a giant skeleton in a cage. Not that many enemy encounters on that floor. You came here to find the secret of the bracelet. But you don't quite trust me. I mean, I personally trust you, but uh, my, me, my character, doesn't have a the reason to. The does not consist of only ones and zeros. It allows the existence of areas between yes and no. So what you're saying is the game is non-binary. Humans are interesting. Are you essentially this world's version of a Digimon? A digital life form that's interacting through to the world through a game. I'm not that. Well, since everything else is dead, might as well data drain you. Data drain one of everything each time we enter a dungeon, I guess. See if we get cores. And if not, oh well. Magical defense is down. Oh, but we got a core. Hell yeah. I'll take a down bit of magical defense if it means getting a core. I don't even know what they are. All I know is they go into the key item box. And that means they're important. More silver gloves. And I'll just Tiger Claws you again. I hope Tiger Claws you again. Get back here. I shall refrain from data draining you again. Just in case. I need to kill enemies normally for a little bit so I don't go overboard. Accidentally bring the real administrators down on my head for hacking their game. Somehow. 
I do have, like, uh, one minor complaint with the game, and that's, like, uh... It's hard to tell, like, how we are interacting with the game. Is this, like, an in-universe, like, keyboard and mouse game? I know that there's, like, a VR headset thing that was recently released in-universe. But, like, how does the game go, like, to the you-die-in-the-game-you-die-in-real-life aspect if you're not, like, cerebrally hooked up to it? Despite all my rage, I'm just a giant coat in his cage. But I want to trust Mia. Always trust the purple cat. Who's just full on pussy out. Alright, I think that's the game telling me that's the way I need to go. A lot of immature eggs. Even though it sounds like the voice actor is saying amateur egg. A lot of restoratives. Funnily enough, I don't think we've run into anything that is, like, poison or anything. More silver hands! We'll be able to wipe out the entirety of the anti-werewolf faction of Skyrim. But yeah, if we do run into a, a boss monster in there, I should try to use some of my items to, like confuse it and sleep it, even though I don't think my sleep scroll thing worked on the rejuvenating statue. Maybe I just got unlucky. Well, then we go. Go closer to that magic portal. Sure thing. Ow. Now, show me the power I'm gonna be annihilated, aren't I? Let's see, uh... I dislike that items also have... At least, like, that kind of item has crazy wind-up time. Let's see. Raining rocks. That hardly did anything. Raging Earth. Oh. This is why I have a decent amount of health drinks, at least. Well, you know what? Uh, I shall tug your claws. Tug your claws. Run away a bit. Use a healing drink. I think I have a... Ah, of course it missed. Death again! Okay, maybe these in Why? Okay. Maybe note to self, sell all those. Because they are worthless to me. So miss. No, not that. Skills. Let's see. Maybe you? That nah, didn't do much. Yeah, 
Yeah, because I don't think I can use data drain on it until it's broken. Jesus. You missed. There we go. Data drain time. Perhaps the game gives you a really bad seizure or something. For the, if you die in the game, you die in real life. That would be borderline hilarious. Moe Lei is cast. Well, that's not good. But I have Virus Core M. Oh, no, game, that this is what you told me to do. I'm gonna die. Game, please, game, please, game, please. Jesus fucking Christ, that would have been mean game. It was gonna do the thing again, where it's like, oh, ha, 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 you used data drain. How dare you? You're not allowed to use data drain on a boss that you need to use data drain on. Well, we already got one. So I don't think I'm going to spam, especially because that would just lead to my death. I could have data drained it again. But then it would have probably killed so me. That's the data drain. I've never seen it before. <laughs> I really do dislike that the data drain, like, debuff system seems to be RNG. Because I did not data drain anything for quite a while until that boss. And personally, I think that it should be disabled when doing it on a boss like that. Where you need to data drain to fight the boss. What? What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, it's obvious she's never seen the data drain before. Are you angry? I just wanted to know the extent of your power. If you were too weak, there would be no point in teaching you how to hack the gates. Hack the gates? Like hack the gates. cores say? And the key you thing? Just drained a virus core. That talent comes in handy if you know what you're doing. Virus cores are the key to breaking through protective barriers. <laughs> so firewalls. Of course. Virus cores are useless to those who don't have the bracelet. I'll show you how to hack the gates. Come to the Chaos Gate. I enjoyed watching the data drain. How do you know about the virus cores if you've never seen the data drain before? Also, how- Oh, I guess you just used, like, a... Ocarina to get out. I suppose. I think. Either that or they're mystical and they can just go straight to town from a dungeon. to your party. Then we will go to the gate. Hell yeah. They are now my friends. Although she's only level 5 and a blade master with 666 gold. Right, let's go. <laughs> that is a face. Oh! a dull moment with you. I can't wait to see the power of the bracelet today. <laughs> That's just all she cares about. <laughs> the lover's charm attack. Well, I guess, uh... Enter the keyword for a protected area. It should open the menu to hack the gate. Ooh. You do know the keywords for a protected area. It was posted on the board. Oh. The keywords are Delta, Closed Oblivious Twin Hills. I forget. Because there was all <laughs> the one place that I never went. Because there was also the. Where is it? 
Because I think this uh, expensive haunted sea of sand, I think, was one. But, well, do as you say. Protected, you cannot warp to this area. Gate hacking. See? Interesting. You need virus cores to hack the gates. Check ah. the gauge to see the type and number of virus cores you need to hack the gate. Check the gauge. If you have all of the necessary virus cores, you can fill the gauge and hack the gate. All right. After hacking the gate, the virus cores you had will be gone. Makes sense. Once you've hacked a gate, that area will be open to anyone. <laughs> Do you understand? So it's opening the floodgates. Ah, so some of them have like multiple, multiple. So this, there goes two of my mediums. Or my M's. So I definitely need to drain more. Hope nobody's seeing this or I'm going to get banned. This def <laughs> definitely feels like Digimon. I'm being drugged through the data stream. There must be some kind of secret in these protected areas. That's why they lock it, right? That is usually the point of a lock. Oh, hey! It is the Lake Guardian. Is there any aromantic grass? Maybe a, a chatter from last stream is right and it is just catnip. And she's just hopelessly addicted. Ominous laughter does you no good. I am a higher level than you, you know. Oh, and this is just a normal enemy now. Oh, Jesus. As always, one per area. At least a try. It probably won't give me a data core, because the game is mean. But still, gotta try. No, Virus Core C, hell yeah. You almost died. This spring has a strange feel. Hmm, I don't want to. Well, maybe I could throw my fuse blades in. I still don't know the specifics of gold and silver axes. Did you lose a golden axe? What? Hmm. Let's see. Just the with the weapon of this level. Ah. Uh. There's nothing I can do. Go to a level much more difficult and ask Grandpa. In consolation. Huh, okay. Till next time. So I guess I need Goodbye. to take a look at their level. Since he was Monsieur level one. Oh! And I got everything back. Neat. Oh, you have the the big one. Neat. I do find it funny that I kind of stopped my stream last time right before. Like it seems a lot of stuff happens. Right before I learned how to gate. Oh, she also knows it. I'm going to take your soul. 
Give me another core! You know, I just had a thought. For like... Oh, the bracelet is shining! Bracelet enhanced by Book of 1000! Real Book 2 is generated! And I got Strange Blade. Uh, I already got one from you. Don't want to get too greedy. But yeah, uh, while doing that fight, I had the thought, I wonder how many, like, long-running RPGs or JRPGs have the thing where you fight a protagonist from a previous game. Like a protagonist from the previous game has become corrupted or turned to the dark side. And now you in the new installment has to fight them. Just spam abilities at this guy. Oh, I'm dead. Definitely should have gotten more health drinks. Ah, you missed. Uh, do I want to do it? now? Nah, I want to get experience from this guy. 170 is good experience. I'm going to wait over here to regenerate my SP. And what I should probably do is save Elk for healing with his AoE. The idle chatter is kind of funny. Maybe we should rest. What do you mean? This is a video game. Oh, hey. Grunty foods. Get into my pocket. Yeah, this is a video game. Ah, chest. Ah, damn it. I didn't see that it was... I didn't see that it was a blue one. I thought it was just... It's already dark in here. This world of blocked awayness. I thought it was just the normal chest, but in shadow. Nope, it was blue. I'll definitely need to watch, like, the actual dot hack anime. This intrigues me. Oh. Oi, game, game. Aw, uh, damn you, game. I hate you. It's not even letting me do things. How dare you, game. Take away control like that. I didn't even realize I was under a, an effect. Until I was walking towards my ally with murderous intent. Ah, I got a virus core A. Hell yeah. Interesting that, like, allies walk around as ghosts. Hunter's Hood. Is for everyone but Wavemaster. Gives rep. Hmm. I don't think I can wear it because I'm too low level. Oh, no, I can wear it. And it's an upgrade to everything. Ha-ha! <laughs> Maybe my actual level doesn't matter too much.
happy. I think I'm gonna go back to town and do some shopping. Because, dear God, I need to have a lot of restoratives. And it'll allow me to save, because I don't think I saved. Blade Master. I should probably take like my various Blade Master things. Let's see. Like uh, how good they are for various people. Too many there. Not too many there. Don't need too many there. It's mostly just that one. Let's see. I don't have any, like, swords that are... Let me see. What else do I have? If there's anything too good in there, so we'll just move along. Save and go. And make a beeline for the dungeon this time. But so far, this game is very interesting. And so far, my only real complaint is... Like, the unintuitive, like, uh, corruption system from the, what's it called, the data draining. Where randomly, basically randomly, you can get affected by a debuff with no rhyme or reason. Man, you guys do a lot of damage. But some good level up fodder, I guess. Glass cannons, it seems like, those mummy monsters. Oh, this is kind of like the dungeon that obliterated my boy Orca. I forgot to look at what that one book was. The one that we unlocked from data draining. We won't be able to open it. Chronicles the total number of magic portals in the field and dungeons. Damn it. Elk, first aid. Elk, first aid again. They <laughs> did it. Come on. I would like to restorative. Restorative, please. You bastard of a game. Wish I could just quit it. That's such a broken thing. Quit taking control away from me, you bastard. Always data drain mimics, I guess, because they're just like, we're going to take control away from you. Which is just shenanigans. 
and I kept spamming the first aid from my ally, hoping that they would use a restorative, but they just didn't. God. That is an annoying enemy, and I hate it. Like, genuinely. Well, that's a small dungeon. Oh, damn it, again. I always expect there to be an enemy. Why does it spawn a cursed chest when your first instinct at seeing the portal is run up and spam attack because an enemy is going to be there? I know that's just me being impulsive, but come on, can you blame me? Well, you're a scary fuck. Glad that you did that on me and not one of my allies. I'm going to preemptively uh, heal. And data drain. Because you're big, you're scary. Maybe you'll give me a data core. Duke Lay is cast, and I got Mountain Guard. But I guess no more data training those guys. Huh. A portal at the end of a long hallway. Smack this guy. Uh, I guess water, because it's... Oh, he is water, so it just wouldn't do much. Oh, now it's angry. It's going around. Oh, I can't do that, because I used a thing. I'm a fool. Alright, so... You heal me. Come on, stop running. I'm not gonna hack you, little monster. I already hacked your big brother. Huh, didn't seem like it gave me much experience. Or maybe I just didn't. <laughs> maybe my camera wasn't in a good place to see it activate. I wonder why Elk is constantly sighing. Maybe Elk doesn't like my... <laughs> my... presence. One interesting thing is, like, if you're highlighting something, you have to really force yourself away from it. Which is interesting. Like, control-wise, it's there's a bit of delay on walking away from highlighted... thingy to things. Well, at least I was too far away to just dive in and open up another chest. Worm hide? What's that? Is it equipment? Gives the drop stone on target. It is medium. Huh. Let me see. I lose Vakruz, but I haven't been using it anyway. And that is a decent boost to all my things. I'm taking that.
I wonder what's so important about aromantic of grass. Why do we care about grass that doesn't want to be in a romantic relationship? Oh, not that. I want to... I want you to smack it. Ah, you missed, you fool. Tiger Claws. Man, sucks to be you. Ah, right, you finally landed the hit. Hey, Elk. Heal me. around here for just a moment to rejuvenate our skill points. Don't want to run into combat with a very scary enemy and not have a, a t attacks to spam. That would suck. Run around elk. Run around elk. Once we get to 30, I think we'll jump on in. And I was just heading down the stairs anyway. Let me double check there isn't any destructibles. No, there is not, so we move along. Alright, story time. Boss time. If you approach a magic portal, data bugs will show up. What's a data bug? If you data drain those bugs, you can get virus cores from them. All right. There has to be a reason why you have that bracelet. Yeah, there was a magical lady. She was running from a weird monster. Uh, she then summoned me and my friend Orca into a different realm, gave the book to Orca. He got nuked. Then I got the book. I passed out. You Things happen. why I have this bracelet? At least I think this bracelet is, a t like, tied to that book. And also, goddamn the cake on Mia. What about that? Yeah, look at me. Oh, Jesus. an item. I'll drink. Yeah, you go ahead and greet for yourself. Okay, me and you first aid. Hey, Elka, you also first aid. On break already, you bastard. Break, you, you giant pile of rocks.
When I have enough healing, these things just don't seem as scary. I really wonder, why does Data Drain take skill points? Come to think of it. This is like hacking the game. Maybe it's because it's a hack that's tricking the game into thinking that it is a normal ability. I got Virus Core in. Like, what is your... Ah, you're an Earth. I don't think I have any wood. Why, how do I miss your giant rock? You healing? Why are you healing, you giant rock monster? <laughs> do I want to do it again? Do I want to data train it? It is taking a while to kill. Yeah, I'm just gonna instant kill you. You're taking up a lot of heals from us. Had way too much health. This bracelet actually belongs to my friend. Okay, I'm sorry, that's a bad read. Gabriel told Mia everything that happened. I don't care what happened to you in the past. Lol. But I am interested in what you are going to do with the bracelet in the future. Well, that's about it. If there's anything I can do to help you, I'll try my best. Thanks. That's kind of no funny. To thank me. I'm just doing what I want to do. Mia. <laughs> it just teleports away. Poor elk. He gets no respect. Mm. Very interesting. First things first, save in case anything happens. And now we can go to places we're not supposed to. You have mail. Definitely need more health potions. They are the most important things ever. Go ahead and log out. Ah, board stuff. My friend was a test player, but they cut down the testing period from six months to three. Rumor was that someone died during the test, as if people actually die from an online game. We couldn't go either. We called customer service and they said it's due to maintenance. I was able to, but I guess they're done. Because we broke in. I'll take you on, gob. Ladies and gentle gob. Stahoni got defeated by some no-name gob. If you know what I'm talking about, come to detestable golden messenger. A lone gob. Join you the gobbler. One of the four gob kings will take you on, gob. I can't find the spiral edge. Can someone please help me? I know I have to look for it myself, but I really... I know I have to look for it myself, but I really want it. Spiral Edge is at Bobadol, but the monster there is pretty strong. Thank you very much. I'm going to head over there now. Wish me luck. You're going to die. 
Are you that? No, no. I remember you. Do you remember me? I'm Flan. We used to fight together. We were both newbies, so we died instantly. I do like that this, they kind of made this board feel like it's actually used by people. I've got one already. It's awesome. If you put it on and play an action game, oh man, it's pure ecstasy, I tell you. I recommend it for any game with a 3D view. What are you sitting around for? Just go get it! That's a lie. A total lie. It's a defective product. The graphics flicker. The misrecog... The misrecognition rate being zero or whatever is false advertising. You're going to have a seizure if you use it on a 3D field. Do you work for them or something? Just die. <laughs> Man, they are channeling what the internet like is like, let alone was like. They're talking about a net phone box though, these days, but with all these cell phones, what difference would it make if they make the pay phones online ready? I mean, do we really need them? Just a thought. Wonderhawk. They're coming out with Wonderhawk. I'm a little excited about it. If they're really going to have the world on it, that'll be exciting. Keyword creation. When you're in a desert area, the Gaunt statue at the bottom of the dungeon sometimes has an item that increases the fire element. I think the monster also has a high tolerance to fire attacks. Part A, Boundless, Difficulty 2. This is also for beginners. And now let us check the news and mail. New weapon in online retail. At the mail order trade fair in Makuhari, New City, the fitting simulator was the center of industry attention. The fitting simulator was developed by online retail giant Binison. It overcomes the weaknesses of online retail by allowing the consumer to input their body data and create a virtual model of themselves on the internet, which they can dress up clothes. Female consumers have voiced concern about their body data being revealed on the internet, however, and Binison is considering a downloadable version of the fitting simulator for distribution. Like, even if it was downloadable, they'd still sell your data. Public phone network completion. The complete upgrade of public uh, phones to com be compatible with network terminals, net phone box, that started last year is nearly complete. This overall connects all of the public phones in the country with a fiber optic net, which allows a 100 megabits per second connection to the internet using any public phone. Some skeptics have said the completion of the project within a year was unlikely due to the delay in development of the interchangeable software with the key OS Ultimate, but the hard work of all parties involved has been rewarded. Though most cell phones, PDA, and laptops were able to connect, machines without net phone box compatibility will require a separate adapter. With hopes of new demands, manufacturers are developing new products and accessories for the market. Major toy retailer Bandai today announced they are developing a new handheld game device called Wonderhawk. The device will... Is that big Wonder Swan? <laughs> that's okay, that's kind of funny. The device will be a successor to the currently... Oh, no, actually, Wander Swan. <laughs> yeah, that is amusing. The device will be a successor to the currently available Wander Swan Revolution and will have improved CPU specs. Bandai also announced that it will be compatible with the current key network OS Ultimate, and the devices will also act as an internet terminal as well. According to the company officials, CC Corporation's on popular online game, The World, is slated to be one of the launch titles. That's amusing. After hacking the gate, you should know the importance of virus cores as vital items to unlock protected areas. In order to hack the gate of a protected area, you must collect the type of and amount of virus core indicated in the gate hacking menu. I will teach you about collecting virus cores. Virus cores are virus data extracted by performing data drain on monsters infected with a virus. Most monsters in the world are already infected and are currently in the incubation period. So you can drain virus cores from not only the data bug, which is rewritten data by the virus, but also from normal monsters as well. I will state the known virus cores and the monsters to obtain them from. Um, Delta server and er uh, server. Small monsters, virus core A. Mid-sized monsters, virus core B. And large monsters, virus core C. There are exceptions. This is only when you drain normal monsters. The probability of obtaining a virus core is not 100%, but when your spread of viral infection is low, you will have a higher chance of getting them. Interesting. Very interesting. Kind of amusing. I just figured, since they go in my key items box, maybe it's important. Oh, another cutscene. Oh, hey. 
Are you gonna attack me? Meet again. Well, it appears that you know Orca. He's yeah, my friend. I know him. He is the one who invited me to come here and play this game. I've only then been I here for five ask. days. I have not been able to contact him since that event. What has become of him? He fell into a coma. You trust me. What you say will determine. <laughs> That's a weird thing. What you say will determine. Gabriel recounted how da da da. I see. How much of that is true, I do not know. But do not dare to forget. Yeah. That bracelet's power is the same as the one that placed Orca into a coma. Yeah, I know. I don't have to be reminded of it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I know, man. You don't have time to get depressed. Who are you? A friend. Or perhaps a foe. <laughs> a meddler with a warning. Of you course you are. Helba? That aside, I must warn you. Yeah. Of Leos. Leos? Leos? Leos is on the side of the system. With that bracelet, you'll be treated as a virus. That's still, what a character design. Also, you need this. Need... <laughs> oh, virus core zero. How does she know? It's not that hard to imagine. Like I said, someone is always watching you. Hold on. Why are you helping me? Helping you? Yeah, just... <laughs> who, who who even knows? I don't know what's going on. Be the one helping me. <laughs> no, Neon, you shouldn't okay. talk to hackers. No Technically, way. she's talking to me. I know not anything of these people. Let me check me items. I should probably stock up on things again. sure that I have a lot of things just in case and otherwise I will first things first top up on you that should do good I think I have enough antidote enough restorative A few more resurrects. Hmm. I find it funny that like this town song is like the most like recognizable so far. Yeah. Nothing really from these guys. So it's like, here's where you get your starting equipment. If you want more, fuck off. Check the alley just in case. Then we'll form a party to go to war. To go to war. So I need to be aware of Leos because they're uh, on the side of the system. Just lots of stuff is happening. Well, I guess first things first, I guess. Let's go f fight that, uh, goblin. And then I'll come back and put stuff into my storage. Because I forgot to do that before I left. Try me, Janu the goblin. That is not One of the, not the voice I expected king. from you. Okay, what I need to do is activate Speed Charm.
tiger claws. Speed charm helps me catch up to you and murder you. Stahani. I can't believe I lost. I can down a beat seconds. How about you? This does feel like an online game to a degree. I can down a pizza. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I guess I can wander around see if there's any like. Well, I guess I can grab these. You know your fate. You will someday be fed to something. What that thing is, I don't know. But it doesn't look like there's any, like, portals or anything, so let's gate out of here. Hmm. First things first, I will... Well, first things first. First leaves first, I should see. Goblin mail is such a downgrade. It does give me slow down a target, speed down movement for a set time. That is not worth it at all. Especially because the only enemies that I would like want to slow down would be enemies that already are like I don't know, something to fear. Just put all these axes away. Hmm. And that's good for, like, Blade Master. Like, for a lot of people, so I guess I'll hold that one for a while. You aren't really worth it. Not really worth it. You do give a tornado, so I guess I might hold on to you for a little bit. Shukram. But you're, like, low level. that away. That should be good. I'll definitely need to go like on a selling spree one of these days. Now I need to add somebody. I think I'll bring Mistral along. She's had a head start on being a healer. According to <laughs> Spiral Edge is located there, which is dangerous. I wonder. Random. Level 11. Hmm, random. Level 17. Level 4. Level 12, level 2, level 2, level 14. Maybe I should have taken that level 7. Yeah, it feels like too, too high level. Ah, another level. <laughs> the Chronically Oblivious Sunny Demon. Why not? Let's give it a shot. Need to level up a little bit. Maybe grab some cores. Head over here to talk to this guy. I wonder what 
what things I can throw in there. Maybe I should have kept my amateur blades on me. To throw a thing in there. Actually, you know what? I should. Fairy orb. That way they're out in the open and I can just head towards them. This screen has a... Hmm. How about this strange blade? Did you lose a Neither. What? That's just the with the weapon go in. Till so it seems like selecting neither is always the best option. That seems to be the way. This is the way. Whoop. And data drain, because I can. Oh, wait, it was green now. I think it was blue before. I wonder if, like, the infection rate carries over between worlds and stuff. Well, I got a core out of it. I guess I'll set them to that. I guess select Wonder Battle. I wonder if they ever thought about making like a actual dot hack MMO. That'd be potentially interesting. I want to check something. Hmm. It is glowing kind of yellow, so I should probably hold back a bit. Oi. No backing up on you. You fiend. I don't think I'll go for, like, all the portals. I don't think there's much point to. Well, at least try to do a fair chunk of portals for, you know, like, experience and stuff. Oh, that's not good. Slowly getting rid of our infection rate. Ah, let's build it back. Well, actually, no, that was a lot of enemies, and I don't want to risk tampering with the experience gang. Since that was, like, two enemies. data drained one of you. So I shall not again just yet. Because what level am I again? I am now level 10. Did not realize that. Well, I guess since there's just one of you, not much 
good experience gang from you anyway, so let's just blast you. Anyway, just started blasting. Ah, Virus Corby. Hell yeah. Also, like, none of these enemies have been dropping uh, chests. I think I'm gonna incidentally do all the portals anyway. And I shall data drain the B army. I do wish that there was just like a percentage meter rather than an, a silhouette. Another virus core, hell yeah. Oh, and poor Mistral has gotten poisoned by something. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, because it's already dead. I was like, hmm, why can't I data drain this guy? Ah, uh, you know. The most common cause of death of video game player. Guess I'll go ahead and just uh, heal myself while I can. Oh, hey, random enemy. I'll data drain you. Give me a core. For the power of mystical digital bracelets. Ah, fire spear. Darn. And it's been a bit, so fortune wire. <laughs> Jungle boots. Wow. <laughs> a one point upgrade. Uh, you know what? Sure. Is hmm. so honestly, it's still probably a better upgrade overall. Here, have mountain guard. Thanks. I'll gladly accept this. Oh. All portals cleared, then random enemies appeared. Why are all the enemies going after poor Mistral now? Is it because Mia and I have, like, some kind of protection from one of the fires we activated? That's the closest thing I can think of. Well, let's go inside the skull. Well, this isn't disturbing at all. It's just Jabu Jabu again. It'd be funny if it was just a series of corridors. Can 
gonna have to sell all these silver hands that I'm getting. Ah, more jungle boots. I guess we'll There's never here have more jungle boots. Thanks. They're better than your current boots. Very nice of this game to have all boots work for like whatever species you are. Ah, we're blue. We can do it. We're blue. Da bu di da bu die. Da bu di da bu die. Hack this giant mushroom. Give me your core. Oh, I unlocked real book three and a virus core. More silver hands. And more jungle boots. Let's see. Hmm, versus jungle boots. Actually, I think her sandals are better than the jungle boots. Well, for magical. Which, honestly, is probably good for you, because... Less up close and personal enemies for you. Heals for everybody. Except Mistral, because she's only missing like 4 HP. Well, you're a new enemy, so we just gotta blast you. You weird. Why do you have faces for boobs? Ah, just a fire wand. Go ahead and fortune wire, just in case that <laughs> leads to bad things. Right, I wonder what leather legs is for. Who it's for. Pretty good stats all around. But Mountain Guard is overall better. I guess it's possible that I gave her uh, boots that I couldn't wear and just completely missed it because I'm a fool. Mistral, heal me. will become resources for me, bloody egg. Do not like that there are hatched eggs here. Ah, just a normal chest with the devil inside. What the... I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like us gathering up all the chests. 
opening the doors made a sound that scared me. Well, that's just disturbing. Why must there be pulsating walls? This is a dead thing. We walked down the gullet of a skull. Why is it breathing? Oh, I guess we're going the right way anyway. Die, skeleton that has nothing. Would be kind of broken if you could just walk between rooms, respawn destructibles, and just farm them. So understandable that they don't have anything, though it does beg the question of why they respawn at all. Maybe for the mild amusement of destroying them again. Let's see. Alright, uh, rude of you to do an attack that did a five billion damage to me. First things first, let's see. Ah, uh, my data drain should be good. I'm still in the blue zone. No more wa running around and being a nuisance. I have another virus core. Interesting that you can still actually attack. You little mi gruesome minion. Ah, uh, the chest on a pedestal. Gave me a magical thing I'll probably never use. Onwards we go through pulsating hell. Hopefully this dungeon isn't too deep, then we can jump back and try to do potentially more story. I just wanted to level up the allies, because I like this team. And obviously when I want to use them again, for story reasons, they'll be gone. I just know it. The game will be out to betray me. Got the wicked itch. Ah, Flemberger. Has Calamity. What weapon do you have? <laughs> the Eight-Faced Sword, which is 5-4. This is this, which is 7-4. So Flamberger is actually better than your corn thing. Because that is 5-4. I want to triple check before I give it to you. Flamberg, 7-4. There's never a dull moment. Here, Flamberg. Thanks. There's never a dull moment. Oh, can you not use it? I'm a, I'm a triple fool. I thought you could. Oh well, fool's on me. It's now out of my hands, literally. I still think that like the inventory system is. A real wonky time. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's just data drain you so there's one less revive statue on hand. Because having two that are reviving each other and the goblin would just be annoying, so uh, die. Another cougar bandana.
Go ahead and heal yourself. Go ahead and heal yourself. And then I will heal myself. Oh, did I accidentally tell her to also heal me? I meant Mia to heal herself. Not more of them. Yeah, I, again, just data drain to get one out. I understand it's probably meant to be a difficulty thing. But just extra rude because they instantly revive. Unless maybe they run out of SP or something. Well, actually, what I should do is... Mistral. Tempest. I'm just gonna have Mistral always on healing duty. So that me and Mia can just start beating up the bad guys. I doubt they'll give anything, but always smash the breakables. It's just courteous. You enter someone's home, you destroy everything. That's just the way things go. And I think that one wasn't there before, but I think there was a chest. So if a thing, s excuse me, spawns where a chest used to be, you get things. Which makes sense to me. First aid. And I'll just heal myself then. Once again, gotta just date a drink because there's two stinking Healy statues. And I need to focus them down. I don't even get any cores from these guys anymore. Well, now you do that just to spite me, don't you? I do not understand these statues. Sometimes it feels like they're eternally reviving. Sometimes they don't. I don't get it. I don't understand them. At least I got another Flamberg. Another giant hallway. The most mystical hallway. This is the most hallway Jabu Jabu dungeon that I've been in yet. At this point, I'm beginning to think Mia's This Is Fun Gabriel line is just for sarcasm purposes.
Uh, blast the Mummy Ripper, because we haven't run into one of you yet. I think you guys do a lot of damage. So I might as well... Slice you down a little bit. Last you. Another Flamberg. I'll never run out of Flambergs at this rate. Definitely not running out of Flambergs at this rate. Not the box. Well, that's just horrifying, a giant skeleton. At least it's not uh, all his rage stuck in a cage. Despite all his skeleton, he's still just a skeleton. Why do these skeletons have antidotes, though, come to think of it? My data drain infection rate seems pretty good, so I'm going to blast you, see if I get any more cores. Now I got laugh blades. Oh, that's not what I wanted, game. Why'd you move it? Why well, you say we got a new item? Nah, stick to the same thing, you monster. That was an expensive thing you made me use, game. Because you moved my diddly dees around. You monster. I always want to be right on top of him, just in case. Head back and see what's this way. Like a fool. Meteor swarm. Well, I mean, we can go back, I believe. Oh. I didn't know this was that place. So it's a speedy, speedy deedly. This one is. And I did not know that. This is definitely a use an ocarina dungeon. Use first aid. Do not understand the Healy statues. I'm beginning to think they need to be able to heal their allies as they die. Before their bodies disappear. But I don't know. The mechanics elude me. It's always two of them! Lucky for you, I ran out of SP, so now you just get to die instead of getting torn apart data by data. And Sprite Ocarina.
this is definitely an interesting game. It just feels weird with like the pacing of the story overall, because it very se it feels very start stop, start stop. I think it probably feels that way a lot more, mostly due to the fact that got my game into this one. Mostly due to the fact that I hate that like I try to go up and then I hold it for like a millisecond too long, a nanosecond. It's like ah, oh, you went back down. It looped around. Yet I can't do that with like my items a lot of the time. I have lots of fire spears, I think. A few more of you. Because it wouldn't hurt to get more heals. Well, inventory over at the inventory place. That's basically just a little bit bigger than your normal inventory. Orchid dance. away. I'll have to see if that's good for Mistral. First I'll do is I'll save and then I'll check well I don't know I don't think I've done anything to let that would move things forward so we'll just higgledy piggledy history of uh, internet random by or by hand interesting well I guess we could hmm Guess we can go there and see. It's level 7. We're, we're above level 7s. So we can beat it. Or see the person that's trying to beat it, and they'll be like, This is my item! We'll have to see. Is that actually going to hurt us? Good. It doesn't. For a moment, I thought it was going to be a bit mean. What are you? Grunt mints. Fairy orb, why not? Let's see what this place has to offer. I'm still blue on my data drain. So let's try and get more cores. Now oh, we just got a green sword. Come back here, worm. How did you get poisoned? What even was capable of poison there? You stay right there, Mr. Statue. And I'll go ahead and data drain this hobgoblin.
Yeah, before I forget, I should check. Oh, she already has a flaming wand, so it's meaningless of me to give her another one. Now you don't run anywhere, Mr. Statue. Oh god, there's so many. You know what? I'm going to blast you, Heelys, just in case. At least one of you. Three I draw a line at. I draw a line at three healing enemies. Ah, I got another book. There better not be actually a thousand books. That would be ridiculous. die. No, not the Book of Law. Antidote. I wonder why we won that, though, that we can't use. It might be a thing for the future. But it's just weird. How are we walking on lava? I'm glad that it's not affecting us and damaging us, but still. Get into the key item folder. Last you with the data drain, B Army, because we can. You know, I was going to complain that this cutscene of blasting the enemy for data drain takes a while, but it does give me an ample opportunity to drink some water, which is very nice. Uh, that's not what I want. I want normal items. Fortune wire. Ah, another worm hide. Three seven versus my two three. So yours is definitely better than me. Although you'd think that something made out of dragon would be pretty cool. Oh, it did become a chest right as I was walking away. Then it called me a fool. Rude. Major Soul, the one that I wasted when the world was mean. I wonder if Black Rose is gonna come back into the story. It feels like she had that moment of being like a like being high and mighty of like, what are you, a noob? And then like it turns out she's the noob. And she's, like, in on it. So she has to, or, like, not in on it, but she knows something's going around, going on. She told Balmung. Hello. I went right into the dungeon because I wanted the spiral edge. But I got scared and ran away. Well, we can't have you on the team. I'm already a twin knife man. Come on, Natsume. Be strong. That's why you started this game. Oh, I'm such an idiot. 
Ah, what can I? I, re I wonder if we like go in and get it if we can give it to her. If we'd want to. Booyah! Triple kill! Grand armor? How grand is it? Has up guns. It's 3-7 versus... 3-8. And it says that it can not be worn by long arm, twin blade, or wave master. No idea what a long arm is. But you're... It should be... It should work for you. Maybe. But it's only one stat point, so it's probably not the super duper amazing. Maybe save for somebody else. I've already blasted a lot of you. Gotta use an antidote. But also, hey! New dungeon design. Wrong way. And some neat music. So far, none of the music has really jumped out at me, except for the main Root Town music, but... So far, the music's been good, just not slapping your face. For all the poisonings, I don't have it. Because you're dead already. Coward. How dare you die before I could annihilate your very code. So this is kind of interesting. Despite being kind of a basic feeling uh, dungeon delver. Pretty interesting. Again, makes me think that I really should check out the anime. You almost got me, game. You almost made me auto attack. Yet again. A thing, huh? Just worm hide. The devil. But I will data drain you. Because you're a weak. A weak little hobgoblin. Not as weak as your caster minions, but I... Make your code undone. Now this does make me wonder. Like, there has to be like a... Like, maybe not officially, but like... There has to be like fan fiction of Digimon dot hack crossovers, right? It is like, it makes perfect sense. I think that'd be interesting. Another reason for me to watch the Dot Hack anime. So I know all the lore to find fan fiction and understand it. Onwards we go. Delving deeper than that one lady could. And more than likely, we'll come back up with the spiral and give it to her. So that we can have an ally. They 
always poison the poor little healer girl. Very mean. What did she ever do? I don't think she even attacks these monsters. Dust curse? I think you're new. Give me. You're probably just a reskin of the Chaos Blade, but mine. And another Virus Core A. Hell yeah. Not so invisible now, are you? Oh, but there are Smashables. For what I am, almost miss them. Embrace your inner link. Destroy all pots. You're not even invisible. Always poisoning the poor healer girl. She has done nothing. Nothing to deserve this treatment. Oh, hey, a chest. I, how, did I, how did I miss you? What am I, a fool? If only I actually picked the fool out of it, then the joke would have written itself. You gonna turn into a box? Did not turn into a box. Then we move along. But now these are the boxes. With the energy drink. With Gatorade. And burning oil. I should probably just sell a bunch of the burning oil, see how much money I can get. I can also get it out of my inventory box, that I can only have 99, not even, yeah, yeah, I think I can only have like 99 things in my storage storage. I do wonder how these games will evolve. It would be a little weird if it's just four games that are the exact same, and it's basically just the different discs of Final Fantasy VII from PlayStation 1 sold separately. No more hiding behind your mask. And I'll data drain you because I can. Give me your core. It would be interesting if there were ways to tell which enemy was infected by a, well, a virus. To better your chances of finding the diddly D cores. Onwards we go. Goodbye, skeleton. More silver gloves. You are not even partially invisible. More tiger claws. Fortunes. 
why, uh... Ah, resurrect. Nice. Multiple grunt dolls. Natsume was looking for this. Oh, don't. Uh, wow, you have the darn. Edge? I wanted to so finish off the dungeon. I thought it would be an, a monster. I doubt I could. Hmm. A part of me wants to look it up, but nah, let's not look up. I can always look up the what would happen after I do it. But you know what? I'm gonna give it to you. Oh? Are you sure? But I can't give you anything in return. I doubt I would have been able to use it anyway. Well, except maybe myself. Kinky. What? Don't take me wrong. Well, what I meant was maybe I could help you out with something. Bye. Although maybe I shouldn't have done that because she is just another twin blade. And I am a twin blade. But I shall save. And then log out. See if there's anything else. Marin saw her too. Girl in a white dress was chased by a thing with a red wand. Area bleu, I think, but can't enter it anymore. Why? I heard they cut it short because the main programmer went MIA. Haven't seen you in a while. Slightly worried. Alf, are you okay? I think Alf is dead. I found... I finally reached Bleg server, and there was a Grunty. Oh man, it really looks like a pig. You're supposed to feed the small one in the ranch, right? What happens when it gets bigger? Do you get something out of it? Cool, you made it! Now you can start using the Grunty food. Crest, you're probably not there yet, so I won't spoil it for you, but when you raise a kid Grunty, it'll eventually become an adult. Grunties you've raised also have their own items, and you can even trade with them. If you don't pay attention to what they want to eat, they grow into useless Grunties, and the items they have are pretty bad. If you give them what they want, they become pretty good Grunties, and their items are also pretty good, so you should probably have a variety of food you can give them. Hmm. I wonder if I'll be able to tell what things they'd want. Ah, new mail. More things I can't read. I something to e orn to v tot s lil <laughs> lol uh, white nasher mog bar of the bright hep me. Bear tem our own mo cardless. The girl in white the, and the one in the red wand was discussed with the board. They've been spotted. Blah. Let's head over there to the O server. You can now go to the O server. Select other servers from Chaos Gate menu. Interesting. But we've been going for three hours. Made some progress on story. Got new party members like Mia. Obviously the best party member. And I think that we shall stop there, probably. Mostly because, again, going for three hours. The one downside is the gameplay is getting very samey very quick. And I don't know why I'm thinking that. I mean, I went through, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, like, multiple times, and it doesn't feel that samey. So it's just like, hmm. Just very interesting. Very interesting. Because it's not bad, it's again just very samey. Like, I guess 
it's beginning to enter the realm of repetitive. Could be that maybe the hit chance on enemies is a little low, but maybe it'll get better as they, we go along. But then so will the enemies' chance to hit me go up, probably. Kind of like uh, Morrowind. But yeah, I do think that that'll do it for now. Again, going for three hours. We got a little bit of story. And we have the perfect, sp or the perfect spot to begin doing story next time. All works out. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, which should be linked in the various bios, descriptions, and link places, has all the links to various things that I do. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. So if you want to check out my edited YouTube content, it's there. Depending on if you like Twitch or YouTube streaming, the options are there. And then all these streams get uploaded to the YouTube after the fact. And then I also have the various sites I upload art to, and the sites I upload my stories to, if you want to follow those. And then, of course, my Patreon, which is just a little dollar drop bucket donation thing for simplicity. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye-bye.